what's going on everybody welcome back to another video this video is going to be a lot different than normal i like to stay out of the drama but i think a few things have transpired that you know are not really fair and i would like to call them out and kind of just address them and just give my opinion on some of the things that have been happening lately i'm sure if you're watching this you have seen wiccan's wicked reptiles video adam's video on cohabbing his leopard geckos putting them into a four by two by two enclosure and i'm sure you've probably also seen leopard geckos response video to that uh, what I am going to be talking about in this video is going to be direct comments from Leopard Gecko about Adam's video. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about Adam's video too, because I agree with Adam, but there's also a couple things I disagree on. But like I said, we'll get it. We'll get into it and again. This is all my opinion and I'm going off of research I have done with people that have actually observe these animals in the wild again real quick too by the way um i'm in my car because this is just like a rush video and i don't have my stuff set up right now so anyway I, this is why i'm recording in my car sorry if it's kind of weird but you know it is what it is so let me first start off by saying i am a crested gecko breeder i am not a leopard gecko expert i do own two leopard geckos and i have done a intense amount of research before owning them and after owning them on them so while i'm not an expert in leopard geckos i do feel like i have a generally great or good grasp on their care and their needs and their environment that they come from in the wild based off of the research that i've done so let me just say that but like i said i'm not an expert at all my main passion and love is crested geckos but like i said i have them as pets uh, leopard geckos as pets other thing i do not know adam personally i think we've had like one maybe two conversations on either one of his videos or one of mine or both, whatever. And same thing with Leopard Gecko, except I've had no communication with Leopard Gecko, never talked to her before ever at all. The second thing I'd like to say before we start, I'm not trying to spread hate. I don't want anybody to go attack Adam or Leopard Gecko. This is just my opinion based off the things that were happening. I feel that a lot of things were unfairly stated and said, and I think that it makes adam it was it painted adam in a bad light when he specifically said disclaimers throughout his video and in his video about certain things but like i said we're going to get into that i'm going to get into direct quotes tell you exactly what happened that way if you want to go back to the video guess what it's literally a direct quote of the video so i'm saying verbatim word for word what the issues i have i literally have notes i'm going to be reading off what like i disagree with and you know we'll go from there one more thing before we start, I feel like there was a lot of laughing and mockery and discrediting, attempting to discredit and manipulation and just kind of just some, to be honest, in Leopard Gecko's video. I guess I'll do a vast like overview very quickly of just a few things that bothered me and then I'll get into specific quotes in a second. So throughout the video leopard gecko was skipping through she went through the entire adam's video and was going through saying what she agreed with and didn't agree with but she would skip parts that were not relevant to her point which okay that's fine we don't need to watch the whole video again and whatever she was saying the thing she disagreed with fine but then she leaves in the part about adam's video sponsor which was dubia.com and then said oh well they're actually not sponsoring him anymore so uh we're just going to skip over this part well, why wouldn't you just skip over that part to begin with? Why would you have to make it known that, oh, they stopped being a sponsor of his? I think that's kind of BS. Like that, that's not, oh, you're, you're painting him to look bad. You're trying to discredit him by saying that. I think that was uncalled for and unnecessary. You're talking about the tank. You're not talking about his sponsor that backed out of it because they're getting so much backlash. It's not even that they necessarily, I don't think, disagree with cohabbing. Because I'm sure Adam's going to touch on this a lot more in detail because he's the one going through it and has a lot more detail and has talked to a lot more people. This is just my opinion. Just I'm just saying that again, just so everybody knows. There was not any beef with Dubia and Adam as far as I saw or heard from him. When, you know, when he made his announcement, there was no beef. They were just saying they did not agree with the number of leopard gecko supposedly going into that tank which we are going to touch on that later i just think it was kind of low and shady and manipulative and trying to discredit him by 
bringing up that his sponsor of that video is no longer going to sponsor him or is not going to, I don't know the exact terms. Again, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not privileged to know that stuff. So then Adam goes into basically talking about the substrate of the tank and he starts explaining that it doesn't need to be complicated. Basically, if you just use sand, coconut core or coconut, um, forget exactly what he said but basically that you don't need to overthink substrate it's not crazy don't stress out about it just use sand um and then whatever i forget all the things that the three or four things that he used but he said the word don't overthink substrate i think that was an instant trigger to leopard gecko because she said definitely overthink stuff laughing don't worry don't get anxious but when you're setting up a reptile enclosure you don't want to go all willy-nilly you don't want to really not think about substrate. So much can go wrong based on incorrect substrate or the wrong things in the substrate. I feel like that statement is definitely like making it sound like he's saying, don't think about substrate, just make whatever and put it in there. He was saying, don't stress about substrate. It's as simple as this, this, and this. It was not a, don't worry about the substrate. Whatever substrate you do was going to be fine, which is how she took it and how she is portraying it to other people. That is not what Adam said. I like to go based off of what people say. Don't insinuate what he was saying. Use what he said. He said, use this, this, and this. Do not, what is the, do not overthink substrate. It is as simple as this, this, and this. I don't understand how that's saying how how is that saying that um that he's going all willy-nilly he's not promoting going willy-nilly he's telling you exactly what substrate to use which by the way leopard gecko is the same exact substrate that you have recommended in your videos you basically have just said don't use calcium sand which yes don't use calcium sand calcium sand is horrible use like a pool filter sand or play sand or something like that i don't know exactly which one he was using i forget what he said he uses but He's not saying go all willy-nilly and when you're setting up a reptile enclosure, it doesn't matter the substrate. He was saying it does matter. Don't make it too complicated. It's as simple as this, this, and this. I just think things like that were kind of made him to look like he was saying it doesn't matter how you set up a tank. I don't think that's fair. That's not what he was saying at all. Okay, so Adam on his channel has some videos that are fitting like whatever reptiles can fit in this size tank so like a 20 gallon 10 gallon whatever she disagreed with it so she said basically that after that she ended up saying so much goes wrong when you just think let's just stick this in wherever or whatever into whatever size tank again that is not what adam said he has clearly expressed multiple times bigger is always better for enclosures if you've watched any single video on bearded dragons i mean like literally any single video he always talks about bigger being better he is not trying to cram things into a tank he's talking about leopard geckos which we're going to get into this a little bit more in detail in a second but he was doing the math calculation of 20 gallons per gecko in this big tank i understand his stuff we'll go on from there in a moment but just saying that he's just throwing things in a tank and you know, so much goes wrong when you just think, let's just stick this in wherever. Like, that's not what he said. He didn't say, let's just stick leopard geckos in a tank or let's, you know, that's not what he said. So again, I, you're making him sound bad or like he doesn't know what he's talking about when that's not what he said. Other thing, he said that this is kind of a bioactive tank because it has isopods already in it. But then he also said that it's not fully, he said it was kind of bioactive he's not saying this is a bioactive tank he's not selling it as a bioactive tank that's not what he's saying he's saying it's kind of one because it already has isopods which is having isopods not kind of a bioactive tank it is kind of a bioactive tank how is that incorrect she said okay just because you add isopods doesn't make it bioactive a lot more goes into it and maybe adam is trying to be simple and to be fair maybe i just am over maybe i just overcomplicate things no, you don't say. You're not overcomplicating this. He didn't say it was a bioactive tank. He literally said verbatim, it is kind of one because it already has isopods in the substrate. He's not saying this is my bioactive tank. He said it's already kind of bioactive because there's isopods in it, which that is correct. I think you're overthinking, Leopard Gecko. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is the part that thoroughly pisses me off. The whole sticks and bricks. 
please do research on what a natural environment is for leopard geckos before you hit me in the comments about sticks and bricks because it's astounding what you will find about these geckos and what their natural environment is okay so let me just read this quote he talked about the sticks and the bricks and she said right i'm sorry but look if you're watching these videos because you want a reptile and you don't have the money to spend on the decorations don't get a reptile reptiles deserve so much more than some sand and dirt is that not what their substrate is in the wild is sand and dirt so what is their so if you're not giving them sand and dirt what is their what is their substrate in the wild Please inform me. I'll wait because I would love to know what their substrate is in the wild if it's not sand and dirt. I will keep going reading a direct quote from her. Some bricks you found in your garden. Does, does the bricks really matter where you found them? Are they not going to be on slate and rocks and bricks or different things in the wild? Like, yes. Let me, let me tell you, yes. I will read something to you guys later about their exact environment that they live in. And you tell me if it doesn't say sand, rocks, and dirt. That is literally their their environment right there. I, I don't arid. Ugh, whatever. Let me finish reading this. And some things you found on the side of the road. Again, didn't find them in the side of the road. He had a certain spot that he knew was not sprayed with chemicals in freezing cold weather that he grabbed sticks from. That wasn't just a random place on the side of the road that could be sprayed with anything. Just so everybody's aware. Again, painting him in a bad light, manipulating the viewers into thinking that he's just go out and grabbing random sh and putting it into his tank. That's not what happened. And that um, Adam's trying to appeal to a large group of people who don't want to, that want to get into reptiles and don't want to spend that much money. But this is a sad looking enclosure. Oh, man, sad looking enclosure is what it would naturally be in the wild. How is it not naturalistic? Because there's sticks instead of dirt. He's adding sticks and things like that for enrichment. Not to mention there are some of the some sticks and things in their natural environment. That That's what it is. I don't understand what is not natural about his tank. Do you hate it because he didn't add plants? Well, guess what? In the desert, there are not that many plants. That's not unrealistic. Yes, if he was trying to make it more aesthetically pleasing, if he would have added, let's say, pothos or some sort of easy to care for plant, yes, it probably would have got even more views and probably less negative attention, but that doesn't matter. Just because you add plants, it's not going to naturally make the tank so much better. Yes, I guess it would give the geckos a little bit of enrichment, but like not that much. Like it's not going to give them that much enrichment. And Honestly, you could maybe argue if the certain geckos like certain spots on those plants or under those plants, they would be more prone to fighting. I don't think they need that. That's not in their natural environment. Like, I don't think in their natural environment, you've got pothos or some of these other plants growing. Like, that's not even where where they grow. So, like, if, if that's what the issue is, I can see where it's like, oh, it looks like crap because there's no plants. Well, that's not their environment. You have to know the environment of the animal you're keeping. Just to, you know, go back to it. If Adam is wrong, please tell me what the correct substrate is for leopard geckos. Because if it's not sand, sphagnum moss, topsoil, like dirt, um, you know what I'm saying? Like any of those things, what is it? I would love to know what their natural, you know, substrate is in the wild because that is what their substrate is. So I don't know why he's getting murdered for a substrate. Just because he didn't have a drainage layer and springtails in there, it's not bioactive and plants, like, God forbid. And also, he didn't say just go get dirt and sand from your garden. He expressed multiple times where to go and get the sand from. You can get it from, the. you can get it from, like, Ace. You can get it from Home Depot. You can get it from Canadian, whatever he said. I'm not Canadian, so I don't know the, can <laughs> you know, the Canadian store that he said. But, like, he was saying the different places you can get stuff. He wasn't saying go out and get your substrate from outside. He was saying you can get sticks or branches or things of that nature outside. You know, again, you, you, the wording I don't like in a lot of this. Around the six minute mark in her video, she shows his tank and laughs and says, look at this. And then I'm going to show you guys the picture right now. She basically was mocking his entire tank because it's sticks and bricks. Again, that is what they naturally would be in. That is what gives them the most joy. That is natural for them. 
My response is, how is that not acceptable? My only critique is that I would have maybe added a few plants, but again, I have not done the research to know if that would cause a problem down the road or anything like that with like fighting or like territorial issues. If there's plants in there or something, I don't know. I don't even know if that would be a concern. I think it's extremely cool looking. Like, why is it bad? Look, it looks sweet. There's a bunch of different hides, a bunch of different sticks that they can go on and climb and explore like they're never going to be bored they can go and mul he's got multiple heat pads multiple like everything in the tank he has two i think two times as many hides as leopard geckos in the tank not to mention all of the sticks and all of the things like that you're telling me that's not enough space i i think that it is and i think that you can cohab my only difference is that he did which again we're going to get into this but he did six leopard geckos my only concern or i guess differ one of my things that i disagree with him on i guess would be the number of leopard geckos but at the same time i have not done the research to say what size social groups they actually exist in in the wild i don't know if that group number is four i don't know if it's six i don't know if it's 10 i don't know if it's 20 i have no idea i have no idea how big of groups they go in from my understanding at least during the breeding season when they're together, the male digs like a hole and all the females go into it. That's that's being together. Like, I, I don't understand, people. I really don't. And then, like, uh, like I already had told you guys, I had this written down, but explaining the sponsorship and then saying, you know, I'm going to skip this because they're no longer working with him. That's just bull****. You're trying to make it look like he... You know, they saw his video and it's all... We want nothing to do with Adam. That's not even what they said. So... You know, just throwing shade that's unnecessary and just bull in my opinion. She also mentioned in her video that leopard geckos aren't social animals like rabbits or guinea pigs that bond. They basically get along until they don't. Again, you guys are saying all these things or the people that are haters are saying all these things. Show me the proof that they don't get along in the wild. Yes, if you set up leopard geckos in a tank, like if Adam had no hides, just on paper towels and it was like a bare bones tank no way in hell are six leopard geckos going to get along in there but if you set up the tank properly which i guess is the thing you the disclaimer you have to add if you set up the tank properly and you know what you're doing and you observe just in case there are issues there is not a problem with how adam set up his tank at all i would love to see somebody that has found leopard geckos fighting female leopard geckos fighting in the proper tank setup I would love, show me proof. I've never seen it. I've done so much research, journals, article, like, dude, that I've never seen it. I've never, ever seen it. If I'm wrong, which Adam has said this too, I will make a video saying why I was wrong and I'll explain it just like he's going to explain it if he's wrong. I just don't think I'm wrong because based off of what I've researched, what Adam has researched, what Adam has said that he's researched, they all line up. It, it doesn't make sense what everybody else is saying. You're just repeating the same garbage that people have said for years because there's no inform or not no information. You're going off of the wrong information. You're going off of the wrong people. Adam and myself are the I think very similar in the fact that we both want to know where the information is coming from, and we're going to put more of a value in people that have observed them in the wild versus not because they are the ones seeing them naturally in the wild. Why would you not take their opinion? That's who you should be listening to. And I also think that if food isn't scarce, the temp, like everything is perfect, your tank is set up properly, there are not going to be issues. And I think that's what Adam was trying to say. If there's no temperature, humidity, fighting for food, anything like that, there should not be any issues because there's not going to be anything that they're going to be fighting over. They're not they're not um super aggressive like that they're, they're, they're not territorial like that but again he also said this is not for beginners this is for experience keepers that have done your research know what you're doing and know how to set up a tank he's not saying this is for anyone and everybody's using the argument well he's making it seem like anybody can do this he has already said multiple times this is not for beginners so i mean your guys's arguments are bull show proof if you have no proof do not comment you know what i'm saying you're just spreading that's not even the right information. Like I said, though, I go off research from people that observe them in the wild and know what they're talking about, not people that recycle garbage or are just well-respected in the reptile community because they've had them for a long time. That doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. Let's see proof of what you're trying to say because I don't believe you. Now, Adam said that, don't worry, they're all the same sex and the same size and the same gender. And 
I think they're all actually even siblings, but that part I don't think really matters as much. This is Leopard Gecko's response, and I am going to read it word for word and then give you my response. It doesn't matter if they're the same size. What's going to happen is there's going to be one that's nice and chunky, and you're going to have some that are weirdly skinny, and you know what? They're getting bullied. They're not eating. They're being outcompeted by, uh, by the others, and they're constantly under stress. I don't understand why he's doing this. Okay. Her first line, this is literally verbatim what she said in her video. If you don't believe me, go watch her video. She said, it doesn't matter if they're the same size. What's going to happen is there's going to be one that's nice and chunky. Okay, so I'll stop there. It does matter if they're the same size. Cohabbing them, they need to be the same size, especially if you're putting food into their tank that you're just leaving in there. So if you're putting like multiple food bowls throughout their tank, whatever, that would that could become a problem of contention. If it was me personally, I think if I was setting that up, I would probably feed them each individually so I know exactly how much they're eating and I know who's eating. I know they're not getting bullied. That is what I think you could counteract that and say, well, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know. I think that's a argument. I think that at the same time, if Adam saw that one of them was bullying or one of them is thick and the rest are thin, he wouldn't even let that happen. He wouldn't let it get to a point of letting them get that skinny as well. Just, I mean, there's no way in hell he's going to let his animals just be abused or be bullied by the other ones just to make a community tank or prove a point like she kept saying throughout the video. He's not doing this to prove a point. He's doing this because people have been breeding them like this for years and keeping them like this for years. It's just not talked about until, which he has talked about. It. I'm not going to say I guess it's not talked about. It is talked about. I just think it's kind of bold that everybody's attacking him for no reason when he's going off of research and studies and people that have observed them in the wild. I just think it's funny. She basically just said that, you know, it, it doesn't matter if they're the same size. It does matter. It does matter. They need to be similar or the same size so that one is not bigger than the other and there would be more likely a chance that they would be bullied. So again, I don't even know what she meant by that. Maybe she just misspoke. I, I just disagree. Again, it import, it's important to get information from people that observe them in the wild, not people that just recycle garbage that they've been saying for years. Again, um, if the whole feeding thing or bullying over food is an issue, if you're feeding them individually, I, that your whole point is invalid, leopard gecko. Sorry, but like that, that proves that your point is invalid. If he does that, I don't know how he feeds them. I don't know. I just think that that's dumb. It doesn't make sense. She also mentioned that he mentioned to do research, but that some leopard gecko people will say never keep them together. And then she said, at least he mentions to do research and that and all that. But if you do do your research, you will find that yes, in the wild, they can live together, but that a four by two by two tank doesn't replicate the wild in any sense or any shape or form, especially this showing his tank. I think that she was blatantly trying to embarrass and humiliate and gain popularity from her take on Adam. I think that she was doing this maliciously because of the way that she was acting and the things that she was doing. If you do do your research, Leopard Gecko, they are found in the wild and people have been breeding them and keeping them like this for years without issue unless they set it up wrong. So again, Adam is going based off of research, as am I, and as you should, even though you're not. So I think it's kind of bull you're trying to call Adam out for and say, do your research, but he did. Show us the research that says they aren't communal and they aren't, yeah, they might not necessarily always be together, but that is why you give them so many hides in a four by two by two tank, in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. Then Adam said, there's a word I use to describe people basically that are saying that are attacking him or coming after him for keeping them together. And he said wrong and closed minded. She started laughing and said, oh, OK, OK. Once again, people will do this to prove a point, which in that she was talking about putting them in um, community tanks or together just to prove a point, which that's not what Adam's doing. He's been doing this for years. If you've ever watched him, a lot of you that are turning on him, if you've ever watched his video, you clearly don't watch his videos because he's been doing this for years. I mean, let's just call you out. You have not been watching his videos because he's talked about this for years. So like for all the hate to be happening now, he's been saying this for years. You're just not, I guess, didn't see it before. I don't know. And the only one that's going to suffer is the animals. They're not suffering because he did his research about them in the wild and their natural habitat. So I don't know. I just think it's bull how she attacked him. 
He said, you might disagree with how many to put in. And that is where I do. I do disagree with how many he put in his tank. Now, again, I'm going to preface that by saying I also have not done the research or talked to anybody that has observed them in the wild. I don't know when they are together, how many typically are together. I don't know if that's four. I don't know if that's six. I don't know if that's eight. I don't know if that's 10. I don't know if that's 12. I don't know how many are together. In a four by two by two, you also have to take into consideration, he has all those branches and a lot of like the bricks and things like that. That's a lot more surface area than a blank, like empty four by two by two in with paper towel substrate. Adding all those sticks, all the hides, all the different even like bricks, that all is creating different hides and more surface area than just a typical four by two by two. So I think people aren't really talking about that enough either. Also really quickly too, he all like he's not going to let his animals suffer. If he sees that there's a problem or something going on, he's going to either pull them out, fix the issue, whatever it is. He's not just going to let his animals go in there and kill each other. That's ridiculous. For this video that we're talking about, he basically was saying that leopard geckos were going to get 20 gallons per gecko in this new tank, which if that's what they're getting normally for him or for whoever, fine you think that a 20 gallon is fine. I think personally, based on how much now, again, I think it also depends on the gecko because I have two leopard geckos. I have one that moves around and is very active. And I have one that's not as active and they're both females. I would say my one needs probably a bigger tank than the other one because the other one is a little bit more lazy. Again, that is specific leopard geckos. Can you house them in a 20 gallon tank and have it be ethical? Yes. Is it my personal opinion that I think that they should have 30 to 40 per gecko? Yeah, I think 20 is a little bit too small. I think if you're going like 30 to 40, that's a little bit, I think 40 might be too much. 30 would be a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like having a three foot tank by, you know, a foot and a half tank, two feet tank is going to be good. Like I, I don't think they need that much more space, especially if you're creating things like climbing branches or different you know, anything cork rounds anything like that, that they can go in go on you're creating more of a surface area they don't need a they don't need a 20 gallon but they also don't need maybe a 40 gallon i would i don't know that's just my personal opinion and that's just from minimal research i didn't deep dive the tank size that they need to be honest with you and then towards the end of the video she said that she doesn't like responding to other creators then why would you attack him <laughs> you weren't just responding because you didn't respond there's a way to respond and critique versus attacking him you were discrediting him multiple times from the beginning of the video through the end of the video throwing shade at him throughout the whole thing saying i don't even know why he would do this a lot i mean it's just like i don't know especially when you clearly have not done your research this is ridiculous to me then she says i'm gonna read this again if you think this is good for six geckos then i'm scared to see what you find acceptable for one now again that is very manipulative adam has said multiple times he is calculating 20 gallons per gecko so if she's saying that why is she insinuating acting like she doesn't know he already said 20 gallons per gecko you should just say i don't agree with adam's calculation of 20 gallons per gecko not i'm scared to see what he thinks is okay for one because you're making it making him look even worse and again this is what my issue i have with this video it was not a critique it was not a oh i just disagree it was a, to me, in my opinion, what I saw, a hateful attack on somebody just to either gain popularity or something. I don't know what you could have to gain other than popularity from this. Like, I just think it's bull attacking him for no reason. That's the only reason I'm making this video in response, because I'm not even a part of this. Like, that's not even my specialty. I just think it's bull to attack somebody like this, especially when there's research behind it. But like I said, he does counteract just the typical four by two by two with all the surface area and with all the heights. So, you know, again, I would probably only have done four, but again, I probably have not also done as much research as him. I haven't done as much research as him into keeping them in groups like that. So that's just my personal opinion. I thought four would have been better, but again, it doesn't matter. He's not going to let his animals suffer. I'm going to read another quote from her and then respond to it. Um, she said the theme of the video was to find stuff cheap or free and um, put it together so the actual enclosure itself is quite sad looking. Again, it's not sad looking. That's what their environment looks like. Do your research. 
And then she said, and I'm not saying that from a point of view of someone who has amazing setups or anything like that, but come on, it's bricks and sticks. Which again, Leopard Gecko, look at their environment. He did it like it is, rep he replicated their environment almost identically. It, it's ridiculous that he is being attacked like that by, you know, just the mocking of him and laughing at him. Totally bull, totally bullshit, uncalled for. He made a natural substrate like she does as well with yes bricks and sticks which would be very natural what is the problem with that i I'm, I'm failing to see the problem with that i don't see it i wrote this down too if you look up look up on google what natural leo leopard gecko substrate is and it's rocky to sandy substrate and are almost always in rocky outcroppings that means bricks would be natural too, people, because Adam, like he said in his video, doesn't have slate by him, okay? So he's using bricks. He also could have used rocks. I think bricks are better because they're more stable than rocks. He's making it safer for them by using bricks versus the rocks, which is, I'm sure, why he did it instead of just using rocks. It makes sense. Think about it. Use your brain. Don't just listen to what somebody's feeding you through garbage. Look at the facts and just like, come on, people. Then she said, if you put something out in this community, you need to be mindful because you have influence over so many people. Um, insinuating that he was careless with information or didn't do his research is bullshit. You are the one, Leopard Gecko, that did not do your research. He did his research and he talked to people who observed them in the field, which I, again, have yet to see any research stating your argument that you have done. Haven't seen it. So would love to see that. Again, if I'm wrong, I will totally admit to it. But everything that I have seen supports Adam. It's just very manipulative how she worded things and how she attacked Adam. I did not light it. Lots of gaslighting, lots of manipulation. I, you know, not a big fan. Don't really like it. And I will call it out when I see it, if it's toxic like this. Um, I did look through some of the comments on Adam's video. Uh, if I saw a comment that intrigued me, so I looked it up and I would like you guys to look it up too, if you see it. If you look up Mohammed Sheriff Khan, he's a herptologist. And basically he has said that Leopard geckos do stay in small colonies in the wild. Again, do your research on this. I'm not trying to give up or say exact, I guess, not exact things. I'm not trying to create a controversy. I'm just saying I think we should all go and look at the, you know, the reality of the situation. Look at what they live like in the wild. And if you're replicating that, what is so wrong with it? I don't understand why there's so much hate on this. Adam has talked about this for years. If, if you don't know that you haven't watched this channel or you don't watch the whole videos or anything like that I just am like it blows my mind how he's getting like attacked for this and I don't understand it It blows my mind in closing again. I do not know leopard gecko. I do not know Adam I used to be a fan of leopard gecko and then you know just after this I'm just kind of rubbed the wrong way. I just don't understand why there's so much attacking you know, I I feel like Leopard Gecko's video was very, um, it could be damaging to Adam's reputation. Now, I don't think Adam is just going to be like obsolete now, but like at the same time, Adam's getting a bunch of shit for this when he's literally doing his research, doing it the right way. So, you know, I feel like it, like I said, the whole reason I made this was because I feel like there was a malicious intent or like she was trying to gain popularity or following or something from adam or something i don't know she says it's just because she's responding to leopard gecko you know or because her channel is leopard gecko and that's what she does but like look at their natural substrate and environment like that that is what you know that is what they come from i don't it just it's confusing to me it doesn't really make much sense um Again, this is not my expertise. I breed crested geckos. I don't breed leopard geckos. I only own two as pets and you know, I just, I don't know. I don't think it's completely fair to just butcher someone because who's been doing this, by the way, like the whole time. It's it's not anything new just because you disagree. Like if you're going to butcher somebody or you're going to disagree, make a video on why you disagree and what should be done opposite. Not just a reaction video to get views and likes and clicks. Like, come on, man. Like, this is ridiculous. You guys are full-blown attacking this man for doing his research and then making a video on it after he's been talking about it for years. Like you didn't have, a, you didn't have any problems with it before. 
And Leopard Gecko, you yourself said you've watched this channel multiple times. I have a hard time to believe it wasn't certain Leopard Gecko videos. There's no way in hell that's the first time you guys have ever heard him talk about that. And if it is, you're not watching his channel actually. I would like to see proof of all these claims that they're solitary. Everything I have seen has stated the exact opposite. I do not agree that they are solitary. I think that I need to see proof. So if you have proof, let me know or let me know who to look up. I would love to do more research on it now because it's a hot topic and I just, you know, now I'm interested and really intrigued. Um, the other thing I would like to say is I have, I don't use bioactive tanks or I don't make, I didn't make bioactive tanks for my leopard geckos. But after seeing all this and, you know, kind of just thinking about it, I think I would like to do a leopard gecko build of my own two and do two bioactive tanks for my leopard geckos. Uh, just to enrich their life and make their life better. I obviously try to give them the best life they can. I just haven't had their tank be bioactive. But I'm thinking that coming up shortly, I'm going to, you know, make the step and make the um, both of their tanks bioactive. So, you know, Lenny, my ball python, also is going to need a tank upgrade. So I guess a lot of bioactive tank upgrades are being done. I've already done a bioactive tank build with my crocodile gecko. And, you know, I had the only crocodile gecko care guide on YouTube. Nobody even knew anything about it. But I have people that live in certain areas where they're known to live. And they will actually tell me like, oh, my temperature is this. My temperature is this. They're breeding here. They're living here. Like a lot of people that live there are giving me information. And that's cool. Like there's not a lot of information on there. So it's like, why don't you just tell me or like tell the people the information and show proof, you know, not just saying, oh, this is this because it's recycled garbage. Let's have a conversation if, you know, if you're native or they're around, you know, where you live, maybe let's talk about that. But I'm just saying the people that live there or have experience with them is the people we should be listening to. And that's why, like, I didn't get offended when they said, oh, my temperatures are this and they live here or my temperatures are this and they live here. Because guess what? Animals are adaptable. And I'm sure that leopard geckos or crocodile geckos or anything like that will naturally, like... They're, they can probably they can be in different temperatures it doesn't have to be exact all of the time which again adam talks about in his videos a care guide is a care guide it's not going to be an exact do this do that it's just going to give you a fluctuation of temps a fluctuation of humidity and just so you have a general idea of how to care for them it's your job to perfect it or make sure it's good for them now again i'm not trying to catch any hate i just think adam was severely Crucif not crucified, but I, I don't even know the right word. I feel like he was butchered for literally no reason. He did his research. He's talked about this for years. I think it's super unfair for Leopard Gecko, especially the way she did it. I feel like the way she did it and what she talked about rubbed me the wrong way because she was just went straight attacking him. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. That's why I'm making this video. I normally, I don't want to be in drama. I don't care about the drama. So again, Thank you guys for watching. I hope that everybody can just hear Adam's point of view and not just somebody's random opinion that, I don't know. It's like, you, there's no proof to support your argument. So why would anybody listen to you? That's my opinion. Again, I'm not an expert. Um, if Adam watches this, you know, rock on brother. You keep on doing you. Keep on providing the best things for your animals. I've never saw one of your animals or a video of yours or a tank build and thought, wow, Adam does not care about his animal or treats his animals like shit or abuses his animals or doesn't know what he's talking about. Because I feel like, we're, like I said, we're very similar. Uh, I like to know everything before I make a video on it. I don't like to make videos on things I don't know, or at least know a lot. There's always room to grow, always room to, you know, learn, expand your knowledge. I just want to say one more thing too. Let's be more positive in this community because the way that this has gone, this has been cult-like behavior, people. Like, this is ridiculous what is happening right now. So let's be a lot more positive. Let's support each other. If you disagree, let's use proof. Let's not just attack. Let's use proof and talk about why you might think something differently. There doesn't need to be so much hate or slander or bashing. Like, let's just use proof. Let's just talk to people that observe them. Like, that's the most common sense thing. Why wouldn't we talk to the people that observe them? You know what I'm saying? So let's think about that before we just attack somebody next time because that is crazy, okay? So, I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I mean, you didn't really learn too much about me, I guess. So, I guess if you 
come across my channel and you want to subscribe cool but i mean i didn't really talk about anything in this video and it's kind of just me sitting in my car just a response but you know whatever i hope you guys have a good one i will see you in the next one it will be a normal video not a response video um i guess unless somebody attacks me for making this and then i might make one but i don't know i just want there to be less hate in the world hope you guys have a great one adam keep on rocking on provide the best life for your animals as everyone else should too I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.